Hello and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 20th of April and this time I'm bringing you some rather interesting comments from Phil Spencer as he spoke a little bit on Twitter today about their plans, that being Microsoft of course, for this year's E3. And according to what Phil is saying, they want to actually focus on first party games and they're even hoping to have a new platform exclusive to announce at E3 2015. And he said via Twitter, quote, We should have a new exclusive IP at E3. I'm trying to make this E3 more about first party than past E3s. And then someone basically said, Keep on building up first parties is the best long term route. And Phil went on to say, quote, I agree. It means this year's E3 might feel different from past E3s, but I like focusing on our games. However, he then went on to say that others shouldn't basically misconstrue as a a hit at third party publishers. Of course third parties are huge and an integral part of any console's life. You're always going to have third party games, that's fine. That's, you know, they're bread and butter. First parties are awesome but so are thirds at the end of the day. And he went on to say, quote, and to be clear we will have third party deals, it's just in my opinion important to focus on and support our first party. And you can kind of see where he's coming from there. So it seems, judging from Phil's comments, not only can we tentatively expect a new IP to be showing its face at E3, we can also kind of expect the whole theme of Xbox being a games machine to continue, of course, when the Xbox first surfaced, the dreaded Don Matrick was at the helm and was driving the Xbox One in a very wrong direction that, of course, didn't go very well, and Phil Spencer has been driving it towards games, 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 which is exactly what they should be doing, and it seems like that is very much going to continue. I don't think anyone expected otherwise, but it's still nice to see, and it's still good to see as well that they will be fo focusing sorry, on first-party games. Obviously, Sony and Microsoft need to both push their first parties and, uh, of course, exclusive titles as well. It seems like it's definitely been on Phil's mind as he, of course, congratulated both Sony and From Software on the success of Bloodborne because, of course, it did sell over one million copies. So it does seem he's been watching Sony's exclusive with a sharp eye and thinking, hmm, we had some good first parties, but we need more. And I would definitely agree with that. Third party games are awesome. As I said, they're pretty much the lifeblood of any console. But first party games, yeah. The developers of the console kind of know the best tricks. Or at least you would hope so anyway. So I'm very curious to see what this new IP could actually be. And what else they're going to be showing at E3 as well. I think this year's E3 is going to be really interesting because, well, the next gen is full, fully in swing. And of course, all the games that were kind of teased last time have all come out, or, you know, not all of them, but a lot of them have. And of course, it's now time for the next gen to really rev into the next gear. It's been trundling along pretty nicely, full swing of things now. So I really want to see what developers can actually do now that they've had some time with both devices to actually learn the tricks and intricacies and whatnot. So, I wonder if it's going to be a new, new IP or an actual sort of old IP or something like that resurrected. I don't know, it's hard to say with this generation. We've had lots of new IP but also old IP returning as well. So, definitely going to be an interesting E3. Do let me know your thoughts and opinions though guys and I'll see you next time.